Meow, meow. It's August 28, and today in Philippine history, Leonor Rivera passed away in 1893. Leonor was supposed to be Jose Rizal's greatest love, and she was the reason why he never committed to the women that he met while he was traveling the world. Jose's father, Francisco Mercado, and Leonor's father, Antonio Rivera, were first cousins, making Jose and Leonor second cousins. They first met when Leonor was about 13, 14 years old, and Jose Rizal was 17, 18 years old. Rizal left for Europe the following year, in 1882. So they had a long-distance relationship, and they had to correspond in code because both their families were against the relationship for obvious reasons. The last letter that Jose Rizal ever received from Leonor was dated 1884. This was when Leonor's mother, Silvestra, started intercepting their correspondences. At this point, Leonor, who studied music at the La Concordia College, resolved never to play the piano again. Leonor married an English railroad engineer named Henry Kipping in 1890, and her mother allowed her to uh, see the letters so she can burn them, and she was also allowed to keep the ashes of the letters in a box. Her first child was Carlos Kipping, and in 1893, Leonor died giving birth to her second child, who was named Carolyn. Carolyn also died. Rizal was already in the Philippines at this point. He was in Dapitan in 1892. And Rizal was finally able to move on when he met and fell in love with Josephine Bracken in 1895. This was two years after the death of Leonor. The box of Rizal's letters have also taken a myth of its own. The chismis is uh, Leonor sewed the ashes of the letters into her wedding dress. And another chismis is she asked to be buried with a box of Rizal's letters. Oh, diba? <laughs>